We've been discussing the fact that this Asian flu has covered a lot of territory in a short time. But I would like to know how did it all get started? Well, the uh, exact point of origin of the influenza virus is, of course, not known. But the current epidemic uh, had its beginning, as Dr. Burney indicated, in Hong Kong and Singapore. Uh, this was in early April. By mid-April, the disease had become indeed epidemic in both of these cities and remained so uh, throughout the rest of the month. From Hong Kong and Singapore, the disease rapidly in early May uh, moved to the island of Formosa. And here, it's estimated that as many as half a million people were attacked within a relatively short time. From Formosa, also during the month of May, the disease next made its appearance in Borneo and Japan. And from the major shipping centers from these several areas, the disease very rapidly scattered into widely, such widely separated places as Malaya, uh, Indochina, uh, Indonesia, uh, India, Guam, and the Philippines. The first cases uh, also in uh, late May, the disease was reported as far away as Australia and on board uh, several ships en route from Australia to San Francisco. Uh, the first appearance of the disease in the United States was on June 2nd. This date is important because uh, it means only a short six weeks from the time the first cases were reported in China, they occurred in the United States. This indicates the great rapidity with which influenza and influenza-like diseases can spread uh, uh, over, over the world. By mid-June, uh, this disease had practically circled the globe, including Southeast Asia, Southwest Asia, the Middle East, Europe, uh, Australia, and North America. Late in June, the disease made its appearance in North Africa, introduced probably by the Muslims returning from their pilgrimages uh, to Mecca. So that finally in late July, in early July, uh, the disease made its appearance in Chile, in South America. So that in three short months, uh, every continent on the globe had been involved in this great pandemic. Well, Dr. Crabtree, you mentioned that it had been reported on ships en route to San Francisco and that several cases were definitely diagnosed among our fleet at Newport, Rhode Island. Now, wouldn't it have been comparatively simple to have isolated these known cases and prevented the spreading of them and kept them from coming in at all? Unfortunately, not so simple for the reason that uh, uh, quarantine against uh, uh, influenza is not effective. Had it been possible for all of the cases on board these ships uh, to have been isolated, uh, it would have had little effect on the actual spread of the disease because undoubtedly there were many more people on board these same ships who by reason of a more recently acquired infection would have shown no symptoms whatever of the disease and therefore they could not have been readily identified if they were passing through a quarantine station.